Water Academics, and this is 5 Days with the 2014 Scion TC. Now Scion, a subsidiary of Toyota, was founded in 2002. And this car we're sitting in today, the TC, production began in 2004 as a 2005 model. But enough about the history lesson. Let's take a look at what this car has to offer. Now, as I first get in this car, I can't help but notice the flat bottom steering wheel, as well as the large nav screen with premium audio system. You see you've got tweeters, mid-range, and woofers down there in the doors. Some nice large speakers in the rear quarter panels as well. The steering wheel has uh, multi-function buttons, but uh, they're pretty basic. Just volume, as well as uh, the ability to change stations and the mode of whatever audio that you're listening to. This particular model has the premium nav system. But uh, as you can see here, you've got your power and volume button right up there at the top. You have your audio button, seek and track to uh, change stations and things like that. Then you can set up uh, all of your different features and options with the radio system. You've got a phone button as well as the map to get back to the navigation. Um, you notice also it has HD radio, which is a nice feature there. So if we push the audio button, audio's off, we'll turn that on turn the volume down a little bit so you can still hear me talk but as we hit the audio button you can scroll through some of the different features there and then again you push the map button and it'll get you right back to the navigation screen again down at the bottom beneath all of the audio controls and the air conditioning controls you have your 12 volt uh, port there so that you can connect all of your necessary items, cell phones and things like that to charge them. You also have a USB auxiliary port down here and uh, then you've got your traction control button above that. The glove compartment's fairly large so you'll be able to hide things in there for when you're not using them. And there's more storage down inside of the center console. Now the seats are actually fairly comfy. Uh, they've got nice bolstering, nice support. It's a nice durable material as well. So, um, you know, it should last well for many years to come. All right, let's start her up and see how she sounds. Power is made by a 2.5 liter four cylinder dual overhead cam engine that makes 179 horsepower and 172 pound feet of torque. The engine is mated to a six speed automatic transmission with dynamic rev management. Power reaches the ground via the front wheels and Scion claims modified steering and suspension enhanced driving precision on the 2014 model. This car has 14.7 cubic feet of storage space, and even more if you fold down the 60-40 split seats. As we take a look outside, the 2014 TC has some rather attractive features. There are projector beam headlamps, and LED accent lights replace the previous fog lights. Redesigned 18-inch machine-finished alloy wheels add style and performance. Now, as we know, this car is still a Toyota. So that means that even though this, this brand, even though Scion was branded for a younger demographic, uh, it's still got to have some practicality involved with it. And what I mean by that is, amazingly enough, I counted about six cup holders in this car, and it's only a five-seater. Go figure. So that's a basic look at the features that this car has to offer. Uh, next, we'll take her out and see how it drives.